Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to check this, this battery. It's in our 2000 Ford Explorer. And the reason we're going to check it is because the vehicle sits a lot. We don't drive it much anymore. Maybe it gets driven maybe once a month or sometimes just twice a month. So we do have a battery shutoff switch right here that I installed so that it doesn't sit here and pull the battery down day after day without driving it. So most car batteries are 12 volt. So fully charged, they should hold about 12.6 volts. So we've got a voltmeter right here. So look right here on this meter, David. See the red meter right here? So it's showing to be about 12.4 volts. You see that? So that's probably pretty close to charged. So a 12 volt battery holds about 12.6 volts when it's fully charged. But that doesn't tell us if the battery's bad or not. That just tells us that it's holding voltage. So back in the day when I was younger, we used to have, when I used to test batteries, there's what they call a load tester and you basically clamp the load tester to the battery and you turn the knob on there and it put a physical load on the battery and the tester would start crackling and making noise because it basically had a resistor inside of it. Those were a little bit dangerous because it puts a load on the battery and it could explode but let me show you the new way to test them. This right here, I've had this for a few years. It's a BT100 Pro. There's a bunch of these on the market. This is a Foxwell brand and it will actually do a test in a safe manner to let you know if the battery is good or not. So watch this. We're going to put the positive over here on the positive. <clears throat> negative on the negative. See, it's it powers on because it gets its energy from the battery itself. So it's telling us that it's about 12.51 volts. So we're going to do is hit enter. We're going to run a battery test. We're going to run it out of the vehicle. Even though this battery is inside the vehicle, it's acting like it's, in, it's, like it's outside because we don't have it connected. If I turn this knob on this switch, it contacts everything and runs everything in the vehicle. So we've got it disconnected from the vehicle right now. So we're going to run an out of vehicle test. Does that make sense? So watch this. We're going to hit enter. It's a regular battery. It's not an AGM or gel cell battery. And we have to put in the cold cranking amps. The cold cranking amps is the amount of amperage that the battery is rated for. I believe this one's rated for about, it's either 550 or 650. We're going to put in about I don't know, about 600 just to be safe. We want to see if it's rated for about 600. Hit enter. It's running the test. And it's saying the battery's good. It just needs a little bit of a recharge because it's a little bit low. Does that make sense? Yep. Show, you showing real good? So the, according to this battery tester, this battery's good for 600 cold cranking amps. It measured... Um, 507 it's rated at 600 so it's battery showing good so we're good to go um, anyway that's an easy way to test the battery this tester I believe I paid about $40 for it maybe a couple of years ago but we'll put a link in the description that's about it any questions no okay stop the video